Hello, my name's Mike M0MSN and it's time for another ribbon cable or window line Slim Jim JPO antenna for two meters. Okay, let's kick it off. We need 54 inches, which is, uh, what is that? 137 centimeters. There we go. Of in this particular case, 300 ohm, but it could be 450 ohm, it won't make any difference ladder line okay this is the world's simplest and quickest um, two meter 70 centimeter uh, jpo or slim jim that you're ever ever going to make it really is simple so 54 inches or for, for 137 centimeters and all we're going to do is well basically short one end and uh, cut a notch into it at a certain point okay so here's our slim jim our bit of ladder line and we have to measure up from the bottom uh, 16 and a half inches 16 and a half inches which is forty two centimeters. So at the forty two centimeter point, let's see if I can stop making a mess of all of this. At the forty two centimeter point, God, this stuff is so so moving. Right. At the 42 centimeter point, we need to cut a notch out, which is a quarter of an inch. There's the 42 centimeter point, just there. So we'll cut the notch. done and what I'll do is I'll put a bit of heat shrink over that it's a shame it didn't come to that because it wouldn't, wouldn't have had to do much so I'll put some heat shrink over that to hold it in place um, and uh, that's pretty much it next thing I need to do is shorten the ends so let me short the ends I need to get it to... So what I've done, because they're the... Oh, state of my fingernails. Um, now, at the bottom of the Slim Jim, you have to connect your coax cable to it uh, an inch and a quarter above the bottom join. So to make my life easier, what I've done is I've actually cut the uh, window line and made a, a matching section for the bottom and I'll show you why I've done that now okay
again. So what we have is a strip connector with our center core and a braid connected to the base and with a little matching stub, if you like, or the bottom of the Slim Jim. That's an inch and a quarter to the point where it connects. And then the Slim Jim goes up and we'll literally put a pin in that and SWR it. Well, we're not gonna moan at that, are we? 1.3. 1.4, 1 1.5, 1 1.7. 1 okay, so it's it's usable, well usable. Where's the lowest? 144.9. Little bit of playing, I'm sure we could get that even better. Here we go. And it's indoors. So here's the uh, the finished product, the top of the uh, the Slim Jim. I've used a tie wrap and a bit of heat shrink to hold it in shape. Uh, and we go down the the Slim Jim. Hopefully, <laughs> to oh blimey, to our cutout here. That's a quarter inch cutout or a four millimeter cut, call it what you will, five millimeters. Um, and then from there, down to our connection. And I ended up using um, a hairpin, a piece of wire uh, in a U to use for the match at the bottom. Um, and I shall uh, go for all of the uh, measurements in a moment or two. So from the bottom of our Slim Jim, it is one and a, don't know, just under a half. So just under one and a half inches or three centimeters uh, before the connector. And then from the connector, continue up the Slim Jim into our cut, which is there at 16 point, well, 16 and a quarter or 41 and a half centimeters is the cut. And then the antenna then continues right up to 54 inches or 137 centimeters. And that's where it's terminated. So what's the difference between this one and the, uh, the, uh, the previous one with the, with the little bit of coax at the top? Uh, well, on two meters, next to none uh, no difference at all but not, not that i can see anyway on the 70 centimeter band yes there's a there's a little bit more um gain i think but on 70 centimeters i think uh the the other one is, uh, is definitely better um not a lot in it mind you but uh, definitely better on the other slim jim okay well thanks very much for watching uh both slim jims work both slim jims are incredibly easy to make as you can see uh, so I wish you luck. Cheers for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.